Now to a story that's making a big difference. A man in Richland has been donating blood for, get this, five decades. This comes right along with the desperate need for blood donations around the United States after major disasters like Hurricanes Helene and Milton. Our Riley Fitzgerald talked with a man named Richard Zimmerman, a longtime donor, about what brings him back to the blood banks. Your name? Richard Zimmerman. On the date of birth? 3256. 68 year old Rick Zimmerman has been donating blood for a long time, 50 years this week. Their records go back to 95, and since then, this is number 59, so I'm almost at eight gallons. Um, but I started in 74, so I don't know how many I've given. So, a lot. It is like a big honor for them to still be coming back and donating and having that good experience and us taking care of them. So, he's doing a big thing out there in the world. Zimmerman walked into WSU Tri-Cities this week to celebrate 50 years of donating blood. Three, two, one, there it goes. I don't scream. Or I might. He first donated on the Oregon State University campus after reading about the chance to donate from the school's newspaper. He says there are three reasons why he donates blood. The first, it's the right thing to do, to donate life. Because you never know who's going to need it. The second, because of some organizations he's been with that have promoted it. And the last, he does it in honor of his mom and dad. My mom lived to almost 100 years of age, and so did my dad. And when they get that old, well, what do you give them for a present? So I send them chocolates, and I say I gave blood. There have been some off years, though. Three months before I graduated, I got cancer in the salivary gland. And so for six years, I couldn't give blood because it needed to be cancer-free. So, so while it's been 50 years, there's been some gaps in there that some people can't. And, but as soon as you can, I did, and here I am. Marcos de la Mora, a Red Cross blood collection staff member, says there is a big need following major disasters around the country. And I'm talking about platelets, plasma, uh, the power aids, uh, whole blood especially. So if anyone wants to donate, please stop by at the Red Cross. And Zimmerman says it's easy. All right, you're all done. You don't have to squeeze no more. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. Kind of like going through the Starbucks line or ordering something. You know, you go, they do, you leave. Only this is cheaper. It takes longer to get the food than it does to do this. He says his A positive blood has traveled as close as Hermiston, Oregon, and as far as Boston, Massachusetts. In Richland, Riley Fitzgerald, Apple Valley News Now. That is a local man making a big difference. Riley, thank you for that report. Zimmerman also volunteered at Cadillac, where he brought blood up to the stations where it was needed and helped to push people around in wheelchairs. He says he, donuts, he donates around four times per year.